the operation of USV control software, the first step of USV control software. The laptop plugs into the blue dongle and connects to the hotspot of the remote control. After connecting, open the virtual serial port software. You can see that the data is jumping on three virtual serial port software data jumping. It means the laptop has established a communication connection with the USV. Minimize virtual serial port software. Click and open the ship control software. Firstly, establish a communication connection with the USV control software. Select the virtual serial port corresponding to the ship control software. The ship control setting is content. Select the corresponding content virtual serial port. Board rate is 57,600. Click Connect. After connecting, you can see that an USV icon will appear in the middle of the screen. It shows the current speed, the battery voltage, the distance from the next waypoint, the operating mode, the unlocking status of the remote control and obstacle avoidance switch of the USV on the lower left corner. It shows the edit RW clear STL RTL wrapped functions on the upper column. After returning, the USV will sail to the home point. Cruising speed is set to the sailing speed of the USV. After planning the route for the USV, set set current waypoint and click the check mark. After auto pan is checked, the USV will always be in the middle of the computer screen. Uncheck it if you don't need it. Measure distance can be used to measure the actual distance between two places. Save map can save the map of the current survey area. DXF format or KML format files can be imported as the root of the USV. Click video to turn on the camera of the USV and adjust the camera angle. You can also set it in the camera settings. The IP address is 192.168.144.64. Username is admin. The password is hzsz123456678. Click OK. Turn on camera. Turn off camera. Obstacle avoidance switch. Click to turn on or off. The route planning of USV is divided into two modes. Firstly, click Edit then Auto. Confirm the perimeter of the survey area. Cespan generally defaults to 10 meters. Click Planning. Click Angle. 
Click Planning again. At this time, the software will automatically generate the optimal route based on the size of the measurement area. The starting position generally defaults to the home point. When the home point is in the measurement area, point 1 of the route will be near the home point. Or drag the home point to another location in the measurement area and then click planning. Route point 1 will also appear near the home point. Home point can be set according to the specific conditions of the measurement area. Drag the home point location to plan the route. After the settings are completed, click Accept. You can see that point 1 of the route is near the home point at this time. Click WPS right to send line point commands to the drone ship firstly. After sending, click WPS read. The USV will then confirm the route orders received. At this time, you can set the current waypoint to number 1, click the check mark, and the waypoint number 1 will turn blue. Or set other waypoints number 3 and click check, at this time, waypoint number 3 will turn blue. So on and so forth. The speed can be adjusted in real time. After adjustment each time, you need to click the check mark to confirm the instruction. After setting, click Auto. The USV will drive to waypoint number 3, then waypoint number 4, waypoint number 5, and so on. During the voyage, you can click hold to pause the task or reset to reset the task at any time. After measurement, you can click STLRTL or Raptor. In most cases, the remote control lever is used to take over the USV and the USV is manually controlled to return home. After setting, waypoints can be cleared when moving on to the next mission. The second route planning model is Route Planning Click Edit WP to plan the route. Click Complete. At this time, the USV will travel from waypoint number 1 to waypoint number 2, then from waypoint number 3 to waypoint number 4, and so on. Click WPS right to send line point commands, then click WPS read. Set the current waypoint same as before. Click the check mark and the waypoint will turn blue. Click Auto. The USV will drive to waypoint number 1. Waypoints can be cleared when moving on to the next mission. Different types of map layers can be selected in map provider. Then set the speed units. Set the parameters for USV video. And turn on or off the switch to save the driving trajectory or not. Feel safe.
Turn on the switch safe battery, safe remote, safe GCS, mission completed or RTL type. Click set. Then click get. Click RTL, STL or Raptor to select return mode. Generally, we select STL and click OK. After setting, go back to the main control page.